For this problem, we're going to use Gaussian elimination to put the matrix in row echelon form. Um, so if we remember the operations that we can use on matrices, they are switching rows around, we can multiply a row by a constant, and we can subtract one row from another row um, as many times as we want. So basically, subtract a constant of a row from another row. Um, so for this one, I need to have a row echelon form is almost like that staircase pattern where you have ones up in the corner going down and zeros below that. Um, so I'm going to start by switching these two rows to get this one up in that corner the way I like it. Okay, next I'm going to subtract this first row from this second row two times. So we'll get rid of that two. And I like to write on the side of my matrices what it is I'm doing. So I'm taking row two, subtracting two times row one. So one will stay the same. And two minus two times row one is zero. Three minus two times row one is three minus two times minus one, which is three plus two, which is five. All right, so we can, now we have, um, we're almost there. We just have this 5 that I want to multiply by 1 fifth now um, to get that down to a 1. All right, so now this matrix is in row echelon form. Um, there's a 1 in the upper left hand corner and a 0 below it, and a 1 in the lower right hand corner. It doesn't matter about that might have minus one right there. Um, this solution is not unique. There are other forms of this, uh, of this matrix that you could get. There are other methods that you could take to get to row echelon form. Um, and this is just what I think is the quickest solution um, and easiest solution. So one minus one, zero, one is one possible solution.